Hello, my dear viewers. Uh, uh, to underrate or not to underrate? That is the question. I, as you know, I am Dragonheart of Code Equestria. And I am here to talk about underrated characters. Now, what are underrated characters? Underrated characters are characters that have good con that have good concepts set in place in their characters, but are unable to achieve the full potential because of how something is written, because of how a series is written. In this, in one example, one major example is one Shining Armor from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Shining Armor is a typical knight character or who is always looks out for his friends, always loves his sister, loves his wife Cadence, and is typically a good guy. But here's the problem. There's not much else except that. And I know and I know some people are going to say that this is a depth problem. Yes, it is a depth problem. Um, this this character is still loved by the fans, but mostly because they set in place character traits that are not canon by the way that are they put them in place just to give him more character to fill in the spots that he does not have. And that is the definition of an underrated character. They, they screw it up by instead opting to put his backstory in the comics, which, by, which is bad enough, but they also give him a extremely cliched and painful to read, and I've read it, it an extremely cliched and painful to read high school drama story, which I can't even believe that they would even do that. Like, it just boggles my mind. Like, what were they thinking? They took no, they put no effort into this. They just, they just took the same tired high school drama story that's been told a billion times and better and just slapped it in there and said, done. No, that's not good enough, Hasbro. That's not, that just, that just further puts the character in the realm of obscurity. That doesn't help the character. But then again, but then again, if you made it in the first place, you obviously aren't interested in helping this character or it's only it's only twilight and the girls that matter right like all those background ponies they can go straight to hell like it's just it's just i i would be happy with one one episode that goes into shining armor's backstory with him, Cadence, and, and Twilight. One episode, Hasbro. That's all I'm asking for. Or it's just, it's just like this character needs to be treated. This character, everything about him is broken, because in the in the comic book story, they they put him off as to be this this bumbling doofus. That is picked on by this bully at school well, throughout his whole thing. And Cadence, and here's the real, here's the real laughable part. They make Cadence like him despite the whole thing. Oh, that's adorable. Just the, the oh, he's a nerd and he's liked by the hot girl at school. <laughs> no, it's, it's not acceptable. That's, that's been told a billion times before. When would you ever learn? That's not character development. That's not even close to character development. That's you giving up. And that is, that is not something you should do when introducing a character in a series. Like, if you're going to introduce a character, you have to give A, 
backstory. B, you have to give personality. You have to make him do something with Twilight and Cadence. Make him do something fun. And C, you have to do it a few episodes before. You can't, you have to do it a, a few episodes before you actually introduce, before you actually say that he's getting married or something like that. Not, not put all, not try to cram all the exposition into 21 minutes. I know it sounds hard, but it is possible. And that is how, that is how you properly introduce a character. You don't slam them in there and basically say, Oh, he's Shining Armor, he's Twilight's brother, he's marrying Cadence, who, by the way, who, by the way, is Twilight's, <coughs> is Twilight's friend, is Twilight's childhood friend, and then you basically wipe your hands with him. No, that's not how it works. Works. And plot. And plus, and plus, I know, I know I'm talking shit about it, and they're like, oh, he gave him a bad story, you shouldn't be angry, Dragon, you shouldn't be angry. Guess what, I am angry, because they didn't treat him competently. They didn't tell a competent backstory. They basically said, with the backstory, they basically said, oh, we don't need this, this character, the, the, the fucking channel is pro-girls anyway, and there's so many females, they outnumber the males drastically, we don't need to, we don't need to actually put a competent story to, I don't know, promote gender equality, which, by the way, I'm not against, against female empowerment, I'm all for it, I'm all for it, but, but I also believe in gender equality, in, Equality, equality in general, because I I like I like equality in general. I think the world would be a much better place with it. And and basically, basically it's like he he is like Shining Armor is a one-dimensional character. He's he's a one-dimensional character. That that's all I can say. Go go. If you go and watch the, the two episodes that he's in, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He's a one-dimensional character. There, there is nothing. We don't even know what his cutie mark means. It's, there is no explanation as to what his cutie mark means. You get no information, and it's angering. Because he's horrible, horrible presentation. And it's, and it's just like, I wanted this character to succeed. When, I thought the idea of Twilight Sparkle having a brother would be, would be a nice concept. Like, like, expand the Sparkle family, like, you know, but, nope. Hasbro just decided, just decided, we're, we're female empowerment, we can't have, we can't have actual good written male characters. Is, but it's just <sighs> he's he like I just it, it makes you want to feel sorry for him just just how they how they treat him like he's he's like the, it's like we said in our podcast he's like the dog that Cadence keeps in his closet and lets him out every now and then only to shove him back in there air when she needs him occasionally to let him out to have to have sex or something like that. Which, which, by the way, if they have a child and it does not get any exposition at all, I am going to be pissed off. I am going to be legitimately pissed off. And I might have to make a part two to this video. I really hope that I don't. But. But, this character can be salvaged. If, if what they do what I said. If they just, if they just dedicate a couple of episodes, or or have a book, which they had a book for Cadence, af immediately after the episode aired, they had a book for Cadence, which filled in the backstory and everything else, and then, and and but there was already enough character development with Cadence as it is because of the flashbacks and the episodes. So that book really wasn't needed. That was just the icing on the cake. 
there was already enough there to work with. Shining Armor doesn't have enough there to or at the beginning. Kind of kind of like Destiny. <laughs> yeah, I went there. There, but it's just it's just a sad sad thing. And cuz and and I really hope I really hope that other characters don't fall into this trap that that they don't get someone like that they don't introduce someone like Derpy Hooves and they don't give her this fucking cliched cliched characteristic because we all we the fans sometimes know better than Hasbro does at how things work and I we don't know everything sometimes we're wrong and Hasbro is right but 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 some of the time we know better than Hasbro on how a character should work and I will I will leave you now my I will leave you now my fellow equestri I will leave you now my little ponies with this last statement with the last statement bye bye but no and by the way have a heart to think positive Hey guys, Nirvana Sparkle here, even though I know it's Dragon's video. But how do you think that Shining Armor can be fixed? And would you like the deeper story that that Dragon is talking about in this video? Leave a comment down in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe for more. And eventually, you'll find out me and Dr. Spartan's ways that we're going to fix Wise, big brother, best friend forever.